Hey YouTube, Pete the Norfolk Chili Head, how are you all doing? I'm back today with another hot sauce review for you guys. I've been away for a few days, just got back from a music festival for the past few days uh, and I'm absolutely shattered. I can barely think straight, I am so tired, but I am going to try and crack on with a hot sauce review for you today. Uh, I've got the entire week off work, so I'm hoping to really plow through a lot of reviews this week. I've got lots of exciting new products to try. Um, but today, uh, hopefully this is going to be something really special because this is from a brand new company that we've never featured before on the channel. They're also a local company from near where I live uh, in Norwich in Norfolk. Um, so I'm really excited to be discovering uh, a brand new company, uh, a new local company. I always love to find exciting new local produce. So I'm hoping this will be really good. I've never actually heard of this company before until I stumbled across them at a, a local food festival um, a few about a month ago or so, something like that. Um, but yeah, like I say, really excited to try them out. They're called Jamarock Catering, and this is their Jamaican hot barbecue sauce, and this is the fiery edition. I believe they have uh, different sort of uh, heat levels. You've probably got your mild and your medium, and I believe that the fiery one is the hottest they do. I might be wrong, but I think it's the hottest. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we should be getting a little bit of heat from this one. Uh, just in case you're wondering, the name Jamarock comes from the fact that they uh, produce a combination of Jamaican and Moroccan products. So their website is really worth checking out. They do sauces, jerk sauces, vinegars, spice rubs and spice blends, all that kind of stuff. So lots of interesting things to check out. So if you wanted to have a look at their site, you can go to jamarock.co.uk, and that's J-A-M-O-R-O-C. Um, so jamarock.co.uk. And incidentally, another thing to mention is that this sauce is gluten-free. Uh, so for anyone with any specific dietary requirements or restrictions, this could be uh, useful for you guys. So really looking forward to trying this. Uh, the ingredients are scotch bonnets at 10%. Tomato puree, molasses, mango pulp, scallions, garlic, ginger, raw cane sugar, and jamarock jerk spice blend. Yum, yum, yum. So, without further ado, let's get this off the, get the lid off and, uh, ooh, see what we've got. It's a really wide bottle, very large bottle, so you should be getting your money's worth of this one. 250 mLs, and uh, it's, like I say, it's a really wide, thick bottle, so you're getting a lot of sauce in here. Oh. oh, that smells gorgeous. That really does smell gorgeous. I'm getting the, the tomato, definitely a bit of the chilli. I think I'm getting the molasses coming through, maybe some garlic. Definitely some spices going on there. I can't pick out exactly what they all are, but definitely getting a nice level of spiciness in there. I'm just going to quickly shake it once more just to make sure that everything is nicely mixed up in there because I want to make sure I get a, a good representation of what this sauce has going on. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Wow. Now, I have to be very careful pouring this one because, like I say, the, the bottle is really wide and it could splurge out everywhere. Mm. Now, this is a great consistency. It's really nice and thick. Lots of pulp going on in there. This is the ideal kind of consistency that I like in my sauces. It's really, like I say, got lots of body to it, um, but still pours really well, which is fantastic. Right. Yum. This smells great. Let's go down the hatch. Hmm. That tastes absolutely beautiful. Really, really good. It's got this beautiful, fresh tomato -y flavour. You get the molasses cutting through it, which is really, really interesting. You've got a lovely amount of chilli. It's not too hot. It's not like blow your head off, but it's like one of the. It's like that really comfortable, warming mouth feeling that you just get. All over the mouth, the the, uh, the the roof of the mouth is warm. The tongue slightly on the back of the throat, but nothing killer. Just coating the mouth in that beautiful warmth. I'm getting the the most interesting spice blend going on. I can definitely get the ginger, 
definitely getting some garlic now, especially as, as, as a, more of an aftertaste. I can't tell what the other spices are, guys, but it's got the most beautiful flavour. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have to go back for some more on this one. I absolutely love this. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. So, so good. It's not a uh, barbecue sauce in the sense that many of you might think of a, a barbecue sauce, in that it doesn't have that really smoky sweetness that you'd often get, um, I suppose, from a more, um, you know, like a chipotle kind of uh, feel. It's nothing like that at all. It's got that beautiful fresh tomato and the spices cutting through and just a, a really nice amount of chilli. Heat level, I would probably say... For my personal uh, taste, it's probably about about a three out of ten. It's it's really quite low for me, guys. But like I say, it really does work well. The flavour is fantastic. Nine out of ten, without question. Um, it would be pushing for a ten, but because I just don't like giving tens, I'm not going to give it one. But it, it's as close as you're going to get. It tastes fantastic. You really want to check out Jamarock Catering. Uh, and especially this barbecue sauce, because it's really damn good. Mm. Well, I'm going to stop there, but um, like I say, guys, this is an incredible sauce, and you really need to check it out. Anyone with any interest in Jamaican food, jerks, jerk food, and, of course, hot sauces, they definitely want to check out Jamarock hot barbecue sauce the fiery edition this is something special guys really worth checking out thank you very much for watching today guys like i say i'm going to plow through as many reviews this week as i can i've got more from jamarock coming i've got more from grim reaper the chevy fire and lots of other sources and, and companies as well which we haven't yet featured before on the channel so lots of exciting stuff to come i hope to see you all soon once again very soon with another review catch you later guys see ya